All right, hopefully you've already watched the two previous videos, and if you haven't, you need to stop and watch those first and then come back to this one. Uh, the two things that I want you to gather from that, maybe three, uh, fluid displacement is the volume of the fluid that rises above the initial reading when an object is submerged. And the other thing about Archimedes' principle is says that the, vo the volume of fluid uh, displacement is equal to the volume of the object that you put in the water. And the other thing is we define density, which is density is the ratio of mass of an object to its volume. Or, in other words, density is equal to mass divided by volume. So here's an example problem. Uh, what is the volume of an object if it raises the water level four centimeters in a 20 centimeter radius cylinder? Okay, notice I don't tell you how much the water started out with because that doesn't matter. It does not matter at all. It raises the water level four centimeters. That's what's important. That's how much fluid has been displaced. So I can draw you a picture. So it's a cylinder. that radius is 20 centimeters. Once again, draw a picture, draw a picture, draw a picture. Always draw a picture. If you can draw a picture, draw a picture. It makes it so much good. And so here's my water level here. And then my new water level was here. And that's four centimeters. So whatever got submerged in there, it's just like that little cylinder. All right, so now we need to find the volume of that cylinder. And of course, a volume of a cylinder is nothing more than the area of the base times the height. And in this case, the volume is, the base is pi r squared, and the height is four. Don't wanna make a mistake? Show your work. Pi r squared is 20 squared times four. So that's 20 times 20, and that would be 400. And 400 times 4 is 1,600 pi. No problem, right? Put our units on there, that's centimeters. So, of course, in centimeters, it's centimeters and centimeters squared. So that's centimeters cubed. All right. Now, if that same object was pure lead with a density of 11.30 grams per centimeters cubed, how much would it weigh? So this takes in the part with, with density. So now we have to use our other formula where density is equal to mass divided by volume. Notice that we have to get volume right if we're gonna get this problem right. All right, so our density we know is 11.30 and I'm going to include units, your future scientists in there, that's going to help you out and make sure and keep up that you're going to do this correctly. Look at that. It's already telling you grams, centimeters cubed. So what am I going to put over here? I just figured out volume was 1600 pi. Notice I'm putting in the exact, I'm not rounding yet, centimeters cubed. Fantastic. The mass, that's what I'm looking for. And that will be in grams. To solve for this, we would multiply both by 1600 on this side, pi, and that's centimeters cubed, and there's 11.30 grams per centimeters cubed, and that's going to equal to the mass in grams. Does that work out? Well, if you look at your units, there's centimeters cubed here, and this is divided by centimeters cubed, so those centimeters cubed will cancel out leaving me with grams, mass and grams. Okay, now this just becomes, can we type it in correctly? So we get 1600 pi times 11.30. So I am definitely going to have to round because uh, that's a rounded number also. 56799 grams I should write approximate 
Okay. And if I wanted the exact, well, I'm not sure that that's really a rounded number. To get to get the true density, uh, we're going to have to have more digits than just two. Um, so, hopefully that will help you out. And I've got only two uh, problems for you today. Uh, here we go. So, what is the volume of an object that if it raises the water level six centimeters of a cylinder with a diameter of 16 centimeters and gold has a, de a density of 19.30 grams per centimeter cube if the object in the first problem was pure gold how much would it weigh all right i think you can do that and if you need to go back and check it out then do so all right good luck see you tomorrow